It's a miracle still that we are still working, isn't it? <laughs> How uh, are you in your powers or are you tired? How are you? I'm fine. So fabulous. Me too. I'm today. I'm not even tired. So. Um, it's good. Let's change the world then. So, um, what's new at your end? Any developments? Yeah, I just published yesterday uh, the biggest event that I sent you the package of documents. It was, I think it was 22 pages with the indigenous decentralization of NATO and all corporations, all military corporations. Did you have a minute to, so to say it? Did you email that to me? Um, yeah, or I or I attached it here. I don't remind properly, but uh, yeah, I think I emailed it. Um, anyway, it's similar to the previous one. It's just that it is uh, one trillion Baltic indigenous runes uh, tally stick that they got, and uh, even the document that is sort of. Uh, <clears throat> a proper paperwork that comes with the tally stick with uh -huh. the, the seal of Godland and everything and uh, with an order to use this trillion equivalent to euros is Baltic indigenous runes to decentralize all these military corporations and uh, send the guys home to their families <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? That's always the dream. Yeah, that's that's fabulous dream we have. But uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> the methodology is now crystal clear. That's sort of all I can do. I can offer the methodology and everybody can do it. And the more we do this, uh, then it will start working if they don't uh, bring the war on of course because generally this region is now totally occupied and have you heard back have you heard back from any of the people you send these things to um mostly not but the place where I call them back and I start talking to them and sort of communicating on it. And then they say that this is a, a takeover, which it is. It is a takeover and it is uh, lawfully uh, put in place. And they, of course, try to uh, pretend uh, that it's not there as most of the people do they the the most powerful uh, power tactic is to ignore you isn't it sure sure and uh, <clears throat> but um, the advancement in this methodology is that uh, godland brings everybody indigenous world order brings in this case uh, for everybody a better life without fear and uh, i sort of um, we do have courts, indigenous courts, but we criminalize corporations which are not alive. No. They are they are sort of not alive if we dismantle them or reorganize them. So what? We make them better just, you know, we, we sort of uh, stream them into small pieces and still the people within the corporations in this system we are not after, we are after to stop uh, the corporations and give the people who have been doing atrocities within these corporations um, citizen salary or indigenous decentralization salary so they can peacefully calm down and don't have to work anymore with these terrible tasks they have been doing and rehabilitate themselves from this because uh, generally we, the whole world is some kind of a slave camp and death camp right now. And uh, if we just uh, 
put people who are creating and holding this death clamp in, in place uh, freedom salaries that should be reasonable so they can really sort of um, feel that okay we will give up this terrible project then uh, then it will cease and uh, we can afford it we we have to because right now we are in total death pyramid it's cannibal it's sort of chewing uh, everybody's chewing each other up either through uh, these terrible rituals that uh, you are uh, stopping, but even in social economical systems, through shareholder systems, through employment systems, people are torturing each other and... Uh, this has to end. Mm -hmm. And right now it is exactly on the edge either this terrible war system will win and we will all sort of bye bye <laughs> or 95 yeah. percent like they have planned and after that they themselves probably or we will change the system and uh, it seems to me that uh, we are in the very core of the hurricane, um, where the solution is. Uh, and uh, generally, I'm very grateful to you because you are doing the very hardest part. You are going to the very ritual place, which is a very dark place to be. I'm sort of working in the light side, like here, you see. <laughs> I have the light. Are you, are you no. aware of when you were in, um, before you came to Sweden, you heard stories of the same kind of sacrificial rituals anywhere in the Baltic area? We have the old saga. The very old saga goes that uh, there are these giants whom you have to feed. Uh, your children generally if you look at that like um like a, um, theoretically we are feeding our children all the time to, to the system that eats us up but yep. uh, practically there is enormous amount of children disappearing mm -hmm. and uh, even uh, grown-ups. In uh, Sweden, I heard that uh, 900 people are missing from psychiatric system, have gone missing last 10 years, I, I was told. And uh, <clears throat> in Latvia, it is total Holocaust. It's like sort of, it's even, it is very dangerous even to go to, to hospital because it seems like like there is some deliberate satanism in the structure of uh, the care system yeah. oh definitely and uh, i have most of my cousins are sort of dead my age it's sort of and, and young people it's a it's a really well planned war machine and we are in the war it's to me like a scientific scientist of uh, social economic systems it is absolutely obvious this is a war design through administrative social systems and it's a depopulation design that is brilliantly planned where where conquer and uh, divide and conquer and everybody eats each other up it's a con cannibal pyramid <laughs> oh, yeah. and and the little children they are already yeah you ha you know they have these uh, abortion um, material things also they uh, collect abortion material and uh, they make people do abortions because they have these injections the elites do you know that okay. Yeah, so, so the elites are sitting on 
want some kind of uh, stay forever young uh, injections and uh, <clears throat> I I know that in uh, Moscow they had this uh, ritual with uh, some infant which pr probably was from abortion clinic but uh, I haven't dug in into this very, very dark and heavy matter that you have had bravery to, to, to. Um, what I'm doing, I'm restoring indigenous chapels because there is not one indigenous chapel in the whole Europe. They are forbidden. They have been forbidden for almost a uh, thousand years. Mm -hmm. And then they talk about democracy and freedom of church and religion and speech. It's total lie if you just look at facts, which means that and then they what they have more done. They have said that indigenous people have been sacrificing people, which I don't see it. it's true. I think it's all distortion of facts. When instead they, the, the Christian elites in the hierarchy of uh, religious groups are sacrificing. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. How much comes out of Rome? Yeah. And no. how, how are other religions? Have you discovered other religions sacrificing? Uh, babies and children? Not a lot of direct evidence, just a lot of rumors and stories. No eyewitnesses yet. Yeah. But definitely from the Catholic end, sure. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> it is uh, in Latvia, they have eight official religions. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But indigenous religion is not one of them. And it's even not a religion. It's the way of sort of communicating with life. Because the indigenous way of um, <clears throat> communication with the higher forces is not a religion. Because as I define it, religion is some kind of organized cooperative entity. But uh, in Latvia, most of people have an indigenous uh, way of uh, communicating with the world, and they just have to go to the forest and or or or, right. to, or talk to right. through through oak trees, you know. Yeah. Could I call you back? I've just got a call coming in. Could I call you back in five minutes? Yeah, sure. It's just a screen. I just have to okay. check it. Yeah. Right back. 